Welcome back to another Is It Worth It? Today we've got Hancock's President's Reserve Bourbon Whiskey, 88.9%. Is it worth it? Is it worth paying MSRP? Is it worth paying like you're seeing online in stores, 150, 200 on up? Stay tuned and find out. Welcome back. Like I said, today we're dealing with Buffalo Traces Hancock President's Reserve, 88.9 proof. I got this from Barrel Tap. It was shipped uh, for $100. So it means $15 for shipping, $85. MSRP, I know on this, is roughly between, in the state of Michigan, $55 to $70-ish. So I figured, you know what, for $25 to $30 more, let's review it. I know it's a Buffalo Trace, mash bill number two, high rye between 12 to 15%. Again, it's a non-age dated, but the history is Hancock President's Reserve in 1775, the Leestown Settlement was established along the banks of the Kentucky River by Willis and Hancock Lee. The single barrel bourbon whiskey pays tribute to the pioneering spirit of Hancock Lee himself. Enjoy responsibly. So we got a little bit in the bottle, got a little bit of history. Like I always say, what's that juice like inside? Is it going to be worth the ridiculous amount you see stores charging for it? Let's get into the nose. Now, like I said before in all my videos, usually they're all between about 20 and 25 minutes. As you can see, it's a light, light amber in color. She's got some, she's got clingy, but uh, legs are just a little, a little bit thin. She doesn't look, she doesn't look bad, but she doesn't look great. Let's get into the nose. Uh, see, so there you get a hay, like a light oak. Vanilla and cinnamon. And like a peach ring. I know that sounds weird. Like a sugary peach ring. I mean, it's not unpleasant. I mean, for why it's not 90 proof is beyond me, like Buffalo Trace. But we got into the nose. Let's get into our first taste. Get a little bit of cinnamon, a little sweet vanilla. But it's, but it's thin. You get a little bit of tannic oak, slight, very, very thin. There's little to no Kentucky hug. But on the mid to back, you get a little bit of like a, like a black pepper, but it's, it's light so far. The finish, it's kind of there and it coasts, and it's gone. Wispy. You got a dry oak, a dry, like, makes your mouth like cottony. Let's get in for a second taste. Get a little bit of butterscotch and leather. But again, the Kentucky hug is just light. It's there and it's kind of gone. There's really not much to it. I'm glad I was able to get this for not that much more above MSRP. Because I've seen on unicorn auctions, you know, you'll see it for like 130, 140, but then you got to pay 25% plus shipping on top of that. So that could be anywhere for another like 30 to 40 dollars. So add that on top plus shipping, you're looking at 200 bucks or even 180. Is it worth it? No, not at all. There's a lot more 90 proofers, Green River, Green River Weeded, that are far better than this. Heck, even Wild Turkey 101, which I'm looking at over there, that's far better than this. I mean, it's good, but is it crazy prices, hunting, and you see it behind the glass is the allocated bottle? No, not at all. This side would be do a try before you buy. Hopefully you can find it in a restaurant or a place that doesn't charge an astronomical for, you know, $40 for one, you know, one ounce and, you know, 80 something or 79 for two ounces. I could see two ounces at $25, $30 pour. I mean, the bottle is only 55 bucks. It's not like, oh, wow, I got to run out with my hair on and go get one. I try it before you buy it. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. But I'm glad I was able to get it so that way when people do come in, the last one I want to try and get is the Rock Hill Farm. Get on your host, Brian. This is the Average Whiskey Drinker channel. Like I always say, find a bottle, open a bottle, enjoy the bottle, because good whiskey and bourbons are always meant to be shared. Like, comment below if you've had this one or the Rock Hill Farms, which one you prefer. Is it worth it in your opinion? And I will talk with you all later. Thank you so much for watching.